Hey guys, welcome back. We've got a bit of a short take here today. This isn't a full video, it's more of a supplemental video. Let me explain. A few weeks ago, I did the full review of the Amazing E and Amazing E Fast portable electric vehicle chargers. And in that full review, I excluded one important thing that I always do when I do my EV charger reviews. And that's the deep freeze test where I take the units, freeze them overnight in a ice cream chest that gets below zero to test how well the cable works, how you can bend it if it's too stiff. For those that charge their EVs in cold weather climate, particularly for those that charge them outdoors in cold weather areas. I do that with all of the EV charger reviews I do for the permanently installed level two chargers like you see on the wall behind me. Uh, but when I did the Amazing E review, it was the first time that I did the small portable units. And uh, I wanted to change things up a little bit. So I replaced the freezer test with the drop test. And I dropped each unit from about five feet to the concrete floor of my garage here 10 times each to test out how durable the casing was and to make sure that the unit didn't crack or break and that it worked fine after that. Both of them worked just fine. And I did the review without the freezer test. And I heard it in the comment section. Some of my followers, my great followers like Gary Clark, uh, the Mad Badger, uh, Roger Horner and NC, a person that goes just by the name of NC, all commented, you know, Tom, total disappointment. You didn't do the deep freeze test. So I'm following up with those two units. And this is just a short take to do the freezer test. What I'm going to do is add in the description of this video, the link to the full amazing e-review uh, for those people that just found this and didn't see the full review. You can click on that and you'll get the full review. Let's take a look at the freezer results. Now I have these units in this uh, ice cream chest, which gets down to like negative 15 degrees. I've had them in here for like 24 hours. I usually only leave them in overnight, but this one I put a little bit earlier yesterday and it's been in for 24 hours. Let's first take the temperature. Minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you can see that there. So it's cold in there. Let's see how they perform. First, we're gonna do the 16 amp lower powered Amazing E. You can see the frost on the unit. So the Amazing E has a much thinner cord than the Amazing E Fast. Um, God, this is frosting up because it's so hot out today. It's like 95 degrees out. And in my garage here, it's not much cooler. Um, so here's how it looks. It's uncoiling. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty good considering this has been in negative 10 degrees for quite a long time. So, all right, amazing E is not that bad. But understand, this is a very thin cable. This unit only delivers uh, 3.8 kilowatts, which is 16 amps. So it doesn't need a really thick cable. And as such, it should be able to bend better. But this is really, really bending super well, considering it was totally frozen, negative 10 degrees for 24 hours. All right, let's take a look at the Amazing E Fast. Now the Amazing E Fast has a much thicker cable. I'm sure that it's not gonna perform nearly as well as that. But we could be surprised. All right. Amazing E-Fast. All right, so as you can see, I always coil them up in tight coils, and then I like to see how well it will bend out. I tell you, that's not terrible. I mean, it, it's not fantastic, but if you've watched my videos, you've seen some cables are much worse. And, and this can deliver 7.7 uh, .7 kilowatts. It's a 32 amp unit, which you can use portably. You see it's small, or you can mount it on the wall. There's another hole down here where you could permanently mount it on the wall. Um, this is not bad. See that? That's, that's actually pretty good. This is probably better than 
75% of the cables that I've tested on the units that have delivered similar power, 32 amps. So this actually performed better than the cable on the Clipper Creek unit that we did recently. Um, and that's delivered the same amount of power. It was a 32 amp charger. This actually seems like it performed better than that. So um, yeah, I'd recommend either of these if you're going to be charging outside. Neither one uh, is really bad. I mean, you know, it's, they're not the best. We have had cables that have, that have delivered uh, better results when they're frozen. But these are manageable, both of these, and uh, I would use either one of these outside in, you know, as cold a temperature as it gets. So, all right, well, that's our supplemental video for the Amazing E and Amazing E Fast. Uh, as I said, uh, the link to the full video is in the description section below the video here. And if you like what we're doing here on State of Charge, don't forget, Click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle reviews, EV range tests, and of course, electric vehicle charging reviews. We'll see you next time.